Hey, what's up, guys? Showtime. Showtime Shred Fit is over here. Size. Growth. Get big. All right. So it was going 80 down to 60 now. Uh, don't try this at home, this uh, driving and, you know, things. I'm watching the road. I'm not watching the camera, right? So I can still react and do all these other things. It's no different than if I've got somebody over here. It's the same difference. Or if I'm sipping on a soda pop or something. You know, I've got this hand. All I need is one to steer, right? So, especially now, because now we're down to freaking 40 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. This guy's driving real slow. So, it's all good. And, uh, the main topic today is, you know, a lot of people are trying to find their purpose. Some have already found it. Um, some people know exactly who they are, and some people, they don't know who they are. They don't know who they want to be, even, and that's kind of scary. So, that's still okay though, but don't let it excite you and not scare you, right? If your intentions are good, you're a good person, you'll figure that out for yourself. You can be pretty much anyone or anything that you want to be, you know, as long as you're not too off the walls and expect to be the most dominant human being on the earth. And if that's your if that's your standard, if that's your expectation, you might even make it and you might even get there if you're spiritual in the end you're still all right, um, but obviously that those high standards sometimes will give you substandard results, right, so what might be way up here um, still might be way down here for you because maybe you had these standards way up here, so I say set those standards that you want and set them even higher up, right, because most people, they don't set their goals too high and miss, they'll set them too low and hit. And that's boredom and it's mediocrity and it's normality and it causes depression and all these other types of things of certain people. So be careful with your whole goal setting workshops and make sure that you are smart about it, right? Um, just realize too, you know, when you have these goals way up here, you're going to hit pretty high anyways if you don't make it. So that's why you want to shoot up here, but be happy with the journey and be happy with wherever you hit. If you hit lower than you expect, don't, you know, let it destroy you, right? Learn from it and keep going on and moving up because maybe, shit, maybe you wanted to be way up here, you landed here, but you're still okay with it because it still might be way at a level above and beyond what other people could do anyways. So you might already be okay with that. Most of us aren't going to be remembered anyways, remember that, right? So most of us, we're going to die, and maybe, maybe if we're lucky, maybe a couple people in our social circle or family or whatever will give a shit enough to remember us for a little while, right? And then, in my case, I really don't care because I'd rather not, you know, have people sad, right? A celebration is better, right? And so... And some people, their lives are so miserable and shitty anyway, sometimes it's a it's a blessing, right? Because they're either now in the spirit world and they're, they're uh, you know, in peace, if you believe in that, or they're in the ground taking a nice long nap, and either way, they're not struggling and they're not suffering anymore, right? So that's one way you got to kind of look at things sometimes, if the person had a shitty life, you know? And if you didn't give a shit about them before, when they were struggling and out in the street and freaking having a tough life... Why are you mourning now that they're dead, right? Because now they're at peace, and before, there was hell on earth for them, and you fucking didn't care. So, you know, you kind of got to put things in perspective that way, too. You know, if you don't give a shit while they're alive, don't act like you give a shit when that person has passed on. Why are they all of a sudden important now that you can't do anything for them? Does that make sense? And the remembrance part, that's an ego thing, Right? Because if you do your part, whether you remember it or not, it doesn't matter in the big perspective of things because you're causing ripples. So if you're a good person and you put out positive energy out into the universe, it's going to come back tenfold. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's to other people. Maybe it's a combo of both, right? Or maybe it's three to seven times comes back towards you, but maybe you know, it comes back a hundred towards other people because of your positive attitudes. Think of teachers, right? And coaches and um, doctors.
doctors and nurses and people like that who are in positions to help people. How many hundreds or thousands of lives has each one individual person in a field like that changed for the better, right? To where that person is now alive today because of them and happy or having a good life with a good family and happy versus in the ground or in jail because they had that positive role model as a teacher or a coach or a life coach or a, or a personal trainer or a nurse or a doctor or somebody that specializes in mental health to get that person's mind right. I mean, there is some, there is some life-changing shit out there that people forget about if it's not meant, it, if it's not monitored or measured in monetary value, which is also huge. If you're a great donator of money and you donate it to the right types of causes to where you're going in like Anthony Robbins, for example, how he's changed people's lives tremendously from people from normal civilians to, to athletes to leaders and business owners and how much that's made an enormous change in people's lives and made them happy and wealthy and all these other types of things and even not necessarily financially and monetary monetarily wealthy but spiritually wealthy that's the most important part right or healthy maybe he's helped their health but that's already a phenomenon in itself but now what he's doing and i want everybody to get involved that they can at any level with this is he's He's getting freaking millions and millions of dollars or more from his his own money and other people's money and everything else to gather and, and put it into these special unit, special warfare, uh, special elite military forces to go after these pedophile rings, sex traffickers, and, 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 and having these horrific people put down like the miserable fucking worthless dogs that they are. And I'm talking miserable worthless dogs because most dogs are very loyal and they follow you and they're they're, they're good. And that's why it's, they say if you want if you want a best friend, don't get a husband or a wife, get a dog, right? Because they're the best, most loyal uh, souls you can have, right? So when I say that, I'm not meaning the, the types of dogs that are man's best friend. I'm talking about the miserable, filthy pieces of dirt that sell off children. And uh, he's going after these these horrific people and these horrific sex rings and all these other types of, of, of deals and just annihilating them and getting these children into safe homes and into psychiatric and, and mental and spiritual rehabilitation and that is that's just ginormous these kids are waking up every day scared for their lives and scared of who the fuck's gonna walk through the fucking door and what's gonna happen to them and, and, and they get violated over and over and over again on a daily basis and how would you like to live your life like that as an adult and these are kids children they don't know what the fuck's going on other than they're in a fucking living nightmare every fucking day of their life right and we need to put these people down who are doing that uh, these unspeakable things to these poor innocent children and there's some torturing and, and, and cutting off tongues and heads and, and limbs and all that other shit I'm fine with that or if it's just a one bullet to the head I really don't care how these miserable pieces of shit are off the face of the earth but uh, we need to do that we need to get rid of them and we need to get rid of them fast and we need to make examples I say put them on freaking live television we need to get we need to get old school with these fucking mental mentally ill, sociopathic, psychopathic, narcissistic, toxic, evil, malicious, demonic excuses of, of life and just get rid of them, just completely walk the face of the earth so that we never have this pandemic ever again so that they wake up ten times more horrified than those children if they even think about getting into that world of business ever, ever again. They'll be annihilated and destroyed.
destroyed in horrifically and publicly and in humiliating fashion in a painful way. We need to we need to do that because if we don't make it, if we don't put the fear of every freaking god, angel, devil, demon, freaking living and and universal and spiritual and everything else. That kind of fear into that person. If every single living spiritual being, that kind of terror into those kind of miserable excuses of human beings that are willing to make a dollar off of a child, a child's innocence. You know, if we if we can't do that, it's not just a nation, but as a world, then there's fucking something wrong with us, right? We need to kill those people. We need to kill them fast. It says, there's ten commandments, thou, thou shalt not kill. There's time to kill. You, you're uh, exploiting children. You need to fucking die. You need to fucking die now. You need to die a horrific, terrible, gruesome death so that people get the fucking hint. And, uh, and I'm glad that Anthony Robbins is stepping up and doing something about it. And, it's, and, and so many other lions are stepping up and fucking taking action doing the same fucking thing you know I don't care if you're the person putting out the money or you're donning the uniform and, and, and slaying these fucking pieces of shit um, welcome aboard and fucking God bless you and, and let's let's go out and kill every one of these motherfuckers that hurts children alright it's been showtime showtime shredded fitness over here size growth get big